and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, a long overdue lesson on the basics of slide guitar. Now let's begin by talking about the different types of slides that you're likely to find at your local music store. Most of you are probably used to seeing metal or brass slides, which are made popular by guitar players like Johnny Winter or George Thurgood. But I'm much more partial to the warm tones of a glass or ceramic slide. And some of the ones you might find is this, uh, very, very nice replica of the old Corazina bottle made by Dunlop. Now this is a type of slide that was used by Dwayne Allman and more recently Derek Trucks. These are great. Another option that you have is a thick ceramic slide. This is made by a Mud Slide and it's got a very heavy wall. Now the wall is the thickness of the glass. Basically the heavier the wall, the warmer the tone and also the more control you're going to have. It's also going to um, give you more of an ability to get a clear tone out of it, which is good for a beginner, but the weight may throw you off just a bit. It takes uh, some time to get used to. Okay, and another option that we have here is a slide produced by a glass blower. This is 100% customizable, so if you have a glass blower local to you, see if they can make you a couple of these slides. Generally speaking, they're easy to make, and uh, you can adjust the thickness of the wall and um, any designs that you might want, so it's gonna look good on stage. Okay, my favorite option, save the best for last, is a bottleneck slide. Now this is something that I've made myself just by removing the neck on a wine bottle like this. Now, if you wanna be able to make these yourself, just follow the link right here, and that'll take you to my video on how to remove the neck, grind it down, the whole technique, and all the tools that you're gonna to need as well. All right, now that you know a little bit about the types of slides that are out there, let's take a closer look at the neck and get some of the technique down. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, and we're getting started with our introduction to slide technique. For this lesson, we're gonna be doing everything in the key of C. So, you have your C major chord, but more valuable to us is the bar chord version. Okay, the C major chord, root it here off of the C note, third fret A string. This chord reveals a very, very common and important position to all slide guitar players, and it's a position that you can use to play over top of any major chord, which is one of our goals uh, in the immediate future. Okay, so take notice of my third finger here, which is draped across the fifth fret of the D, G, and B string, playing some of that triad. So we have a G note, we have a C note, and we have here the B string, and E note, our major third. Okay, now let's learn how to play that chord using our slide. Okay, so I'm gonna be getting started using my bottleneck slide. Our goal is to be able to play a very clean note and after that, a full C major triad. So step number one, we're gonna take the slide and put it right over the fifth fret. Now you're probably used to always having your fingers right behind the fret, but when you're using your slide, you have to have it right on top of the fret. So you'll see the fret going right up the middle of your slide. Okay, now that you have the appropriate position, make sure that your hand posture is correct. Your pointer finger should be draped across the strings, so that way, if the slide is taken off, you have nothing but dead notes. Now, the middle finger is going to work as a bit of support. It's kind of as if it's connected to the ring finger, which is holding my slide. So with the pointer finger, draped across, the strings deadening the notes, and the middle finger uh, on top of the slide, it kind of creates a bit of a pyramid, which is why I call this the pyramid technique or the pyramid posture. Okay, so now I got my pyramid posture, looks like this. All right, you see the pyramid? And I have the slide right over the fifth fret. I'm gonna see how my D string sounds. Okay, I can try shaking it a little bit to get some vibrato. Let's see if I can get my G string to work. My B string sounds good as well. And I can practice playing those notes individually. 
All right, or I can try to slide them all together at once. Just like that. Now, with slide, pitch is everything. So, make sure that you're using your clip-on tuner to get better at it. You're gonna put it up on the headstock and make sure that all the notes are turning up green, okay? No flat and no sharp notes. So just those three notes there would sound great over a C major chord. You can try sliding from a half step. Or see how a full step sounds. Okay, it's at this point I would like for you to ditch your pick and adopt a finger style technique when creating that same exact triad. So you have a close look at my right hand and if I was going to fret that D string, the way I would do it is I would do that with my thumb and I would use all of my other fingers here to block the strings that I don't want a note to be produced on. All right, that was me sliding from my fourth fret D string up to my fifth fret D string. Okay, then if I wanted my G string to produce a note, I'll do the same thing, slide from four to five. I would block all the notes, my thumb would stay put, and believe it or not, my thumb is actually blocking the low E, A, and also the D string. All right, if I wanted to do my B string, I might use my middle finger, or I might just bring the whole operation down, and now my thumb is covering everything from E all the way to G. All right, it's in that particular instance that I might do something like, play my G string and also my B string. All right, so you can practice going back and forth between the notes in that C major chord that you just learned. Trying to get nice, clean notes out of that. All right, that's me going down to the high E string now. Grabbing notes off of my D string, my G string, my G string and B string, and also the high E string, which sounds great over top of the C major chord. Okay, so one of the other things I recommend is if you're learning a new slide line, try to play it with your hands first, and then see if you can experiment with the slide. Okay, now that you can produce a nice clean tone, you know how to play the uh, C major triad, and you know how the right hand works. We're gonna learn how to produce melodies using our C major scale. Let's learn it using our first finger, then I'll show you how to use your slide. Okay, so my pointer finger here on the G string fifth fret, I go up a whole step to the seventh fret. Then I'm here on the B string fifth fret, a half step to the sixth, the eighth fret B string, a whole step to the high E string fifth fret, up a whole step to the seventh, and here the octave eighth fret high E string. So earlier I said this was a very important position because in that C major barred shape, that triad's right there and so is the scale. Okay, now that you know how to play your C major scale in that high treble octave, let's see if we can produce those notes nice and clean using your slide. One, two, three, four. Okay, you'll practice that over and over again. Be very patient, this can get a little frustrating, so it's gonna take time and patience. Then, once you have it, start trying to produce a couple of melodies. For example, five, five on the D and G, seventh fret of the G string, uh, sixth fret B string, and then right there to the B string, so major third, B string, fifth fret. All right, so if I did that with my slide, let's do it one more time with the fingers. I'll try it 
I practice I'll let those two notes ring together Maybe I'll throw in the eighth fret B string Alright, I love the sound of sliding back and forth between the G string fifth fret and fourth fret and back Gonna sound great. That triad over any major chord, you can play it in the key of F by going up to the 10th fret. Or you could go up to the G by going to the 12th fret. To produce a full one, four, five progression. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the basics to slide guitar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at Patreon.com. Thank you for making these lessons possible. I got plenty more coming at you, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.